What is up guys, it's your so busy bro, 685 and I'm back again with another one, shout out to everyone who's back once again. Um, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be reacting to um, a song by the group um, Seven Fall, um, and it's called Press. But when you search it up, it's called NAPU or NPU X LOX X Caps. So I'm pretty sure those are just the artist names individually, and then the song is called Press. But I think overall the group is called Seven Fall. Now, I'm a bit late on this, but you know, I'm just a lazy cat. <laughs> sure, you know, it's better, obviously it's better to react to everything straight away as soon as it comes out. But um, yeah, it is what it is, you know what I mean? Um, I've seen a lot of stuff on Instagram, like before they released it, the snippets, the interviews. I don't think I've seen like the full interviews in the snippets. Um, and just like, yeah, see everything like that. But anyways, we'll try to go into this with our unbiased mind and um, just focus on, like I said, on some of the pre previous videos, the positives and everything. Um, and then, yeah. So if you're not, uh, if you haven't seen any of my recent videos, what I try to do, like, is actually do a reaction <laughs> to the video. So I'll do a, a like a run through. Um, I'll try not to pause it as much as I normally do. And then later on, I'll run through it again and try, you know, break down little things. Um, you know, just talk about things I see, pull up things I see. Um, like if I think things, certain um, sentences or lyrics have meanings to it, or like even just talking about, um, you know, the background, the scenery, you know, just all that, just just every little thing that I normally talk about. Without further ado, try to keep this um, with pace. Shout out to all the boys. Shout out to Seven Four. Um, this is called Press. That's cool. Sorry, I normally put my phone on silent. Everything else, you know, is sort of generic now, like the like the bass. Anyway, I said that. Uh, so I like that line, the hounds dude. That was very bad. <laughs> Something when something like pause, set it again, pause, set it again. It's pretty bad for Just, I think a lot of people were saying the main, like not the main guy, but one of the rappers is like Indian or something. I don't know. I have no idea what they are. So I will just assume there's Islanders in here, Samoans or Tongans. Then you got some dude who looks like African. 
obviously there's a lot of countries within Africa, you know, but everyone just says Africa, but you know, it could be like Sudanese, could be Ethiopian, could be, could be anything, fucking, you've got so many things. So, you know, that's just, and I've seen, it looks like there's a, there's a white boy in there. So, you know, it's good to see it's, um, it's multicultural, you know, it's not about your background or your colour, it's more about where you're from, which is pretty much how it is in Sydney as well, I'm pretty sure these guys are from Melbourne. So, I mean, I, that's a positive I'll pick up. Just trying to see the national But in saying that, it's not like it's it's um, unique or anything. Like I'm just being straight up. It sounds like a lot of you know UK drill or drill in general. When you think of drill, you think of UK drill. Um, you see, you know, it's got that mad flow to beat, and then that rough grittiness of it all. Um, yeah, I like the visuals. I like you know everyone's got that. Like I said before, color scheme. Even pausing the if you look at all their shoes, you know they just got that. I would. It is typical. You know what I mean. Um, but not in a negative way, like they got that look and all, you know. Not I'm talking about well, I'm just talking shoes, but like, just looking here, you probably got like maxis. I think I don't know what the new ones are called, the new TN style look is. But you got TNs and then you got the new versions. I have no idea what they're called. Oh yeah, Air Forces. Anyways, you know, um you can just see the influence of certain um you know rap groups like that at the pinnacle at the moment within Australia and their influence you know that they've had within the culture over the past 10 months maybe you know um with yeah you can just see it within this frame and not even just there like yeah they opened a lot of doors I know I said I was gonna pause it, I probably just probably wanted the last time I put it. This guy reminded me of Mortal Kombat, I remember I said that in the other one. This guy read it. Check them out, you know, get, get hit them up. This, that, and the other, go run up the numbers. Um, let me know what you think about it in the comments, or go let them know what you think about this, that, and the other. Um, and yeah, pretty much, you know, pretty sure they're from Victoria, Melbourne, Australia. Some young up and comers, you know, for their first official video, I'm pretty sure this is as a group, you know, the quality is there, obviously. Like I mean, a lot of the boys say, you know, now the bar is just so high um, in general, you know, just 2019, just from a jump, you know, from, you know, major groups such as 1-4, um, Hampton Park, Hooligan Hefts, Pistol P, yeah, like in Enzo, no diss to the boys, but I think they sort of had some things going in their lives and they sort of like, you know, kicked back a bit this year, 
But um, you know, just all around within the scene, the, the the expectation is so high. You know what I mean? So you know, some video like this that came would have came out like a year or two ago, like a year and a half ago, like last year, halfway through last year, this probably would have blew up like bigger than what it already has. You know what I mean? Um, but because that expectation level or that you know the standard is so much more and everything yeah and not even just that like i said before um you know a lot of the stuff not even with these guys but with other groups it's sort of been done or been seen so that well factor or that you know it's not going to be as much as if you were the first group or first people to do it or to showcase that type of lyrics or that type of style or that type of you know dress or portray that image like just all of that you know what i mean it's, it's never going to be as good as it was if you were the first because yeah but anyway that was just i'm going to run it run through again and try to break down little bits here and there uh, but yeah shout out to everyone who made it this far don't want to watch uh doctor and yeah files or anyways let's get it from let's, let's get it from start <laughs> Background sound, you know. Yeah. I know. Um, I was reading that poly on Facebook that poly rappers. And you know, you've got to be honest, not even with these guys, like I said, like not too long ago, you, you can see um, the influence of, you know, certain groups from like, you can call it the gun lean or you can call it the Mountie Bop, but you know, let's be, let's be honest, Let, let's say all the people in Australia and New Zealand that like watch this type of music, I would say like 99 never knew what the gun lean was before, you know, a certain group did it within Australia. And then after that now, you know, you see a lot you know, in probably every second video that come from the young generation of Pacific Island groups, you'll see them that do drill. You'll see at least one or two people do it. You know, and then like from the masks to the hoodies to, you know, at least 20 boys in a video, video clip, dressed in a certain type of way. Adding in your basic lingo or like um, wording such as drill, dip, you know, district, chef, um, you know, speaking pig Latin to a degree. Um, just all of these things, you know, they're not new anymore, whereas before they sort of, you know, no one was doing it like that. Now it's become like the standard, as I said, the base, where you, you know, then you structure everything around all of that. Nothing wrong with it, I just got to point out certain things. And not even with this group as well. The reason why I'm saying it too is if the boys are watching is because, you know, you guys would have seen the comments on your Insta, then you guys would have seen the comments on the PolyTube. Hopefully you would have seen it. You know, it's, it's good to take it all in, you know, just because reality is all those people that are saying it, that's your consumers, you know, that's your customers. They're the people that are gonna be... Anyways, fuck that, haters. Keep doing what you're doing, it's good. Your boy's so tough, for the Grimmie Mafia, I had enough. In this juicy, it gets rough. Free on my man, yeah, up in the cuffs. I do it in silence, I got my shape. Feds can't find it, man like me. I'll just drink kindness. I wanna know, like, I know a lot of people do say it when there's a new group and they come out, like, taking shots at certain people, but no one really knows like generally, no one knows who they are, as in the group, if it's their first video too. Um, but what I want to know is like, do they have ops? Who are the ops or the opposition or the enemies? Who are they talking about? Or is it just like, they just make it a song and they're just, you know, saying generic, generically. But yeah, if they do have, if they are beefing with a certain group, maybe everything, like a lot of their lyrics, what they're talking about, does derive from reality or facts, you know? I don't know, let us know if you know what I mean. In front of the judge, he not right in front of the judge, he not lying, but that's okay. What do you say? Run back, back, and push it away. Carry my cheek like every day. Chuck that down, take it as flesh, aim for the chest. Free one sinful, fuck all the rest. Free one sinful, we do our best. Things that chat on us, I'm not really in my fuck. Aim for your guts, you're the luck, I cheat my cut. Let me get sound, let me get bags, you're up in the pound. I was gonna talk about like there is that culture now dipping in now it's this they get political. 
Desensitized to like a lot of the lyrics now, as in, you know, I, I think not even just for me, just a lot of people from this side have heard, you know, a lot of, like I said, the generic lines, the standard lines, this, that, and the other. I try to look for certain things to talk about, but in my, like, with my mindset and opinions, like, um, I don't know much as in the backstories, if there are backstories, and then also, as like, you know, well, I can't really talk about anything positive, as in, like, like stabbing this and come to my district like you know what I mean yeah I don't know I don't know where I can talk where yeah um but all I can say besides all of that I do like you know these guys are trying to put the area on the map trying to chase their dreams you know bringing all their boys together um you know trying to create some content music this that, and the other um whether it is entertainment or whether it is you know based on the life they're living or certain people they're living or things they've seen and heard you know what i mean it is what it is um shout out to, the, to these guys shout out to the people but yeah with, with that being said if you are these guys or any young guys you know it's, it's got to be yeah you've got to be aware um if i if i had something like advice for them you've got to be aware of what the energy you put out in the world so when you you know within drill in general or rapping um you know very explicit um certain things and repping areas and being associated with certain groups you're always going to have certain people challenge you or say you're not this you're not that and then they're going to come a point especially within hip-hop it's all about whether or not you're real or raw and whether you are or you ain't once you get challenged you're going to have to prove it and i'm not saying these guys aren't ready to prove it but then it's like you prove it 
and then now you got to go ashore, not from the retaliation from these people, but like from the police. And then you know you start going down this path, and then you start seeing your people get locked up one by one. You know, looking around at certain groups um, at the moment, and it's sort of you know, and then like let's say they do have opposition, and then they start having rivalry, and then it gets to the point where it's like, what's that group NGS and all that? How to have big balls outside in the open? Um, you know, you get to the point where you can't even do any shows, you know, because the, the the police, um, you know, just understand that you have enemies, and if you have a show that everyone knows about, it's it's not hard to just think that that you know, those group of people that don't like you are gonna show up and cause a you know havoc or all in brawl or stabbing, you know. So I think not even just with these guys seven four, I just think like with any up and coming. Artists, not even drill, but just any like generally hip hop and drill. If you just want to like project a certain type of energy, and it is realistic, like you have enemies, you have ops, you're moving a type of way. You just gotta understand and think ahead about where this is gonna put you and your people, your the group of boys in. And you know, yeah, you just understand like if you get really big and you do get into a rivalry with a group, and there is, you know, you're doing what you're saying, going out doing this and that. You just gotta expect pressure from the government. You gotta expect you're not probably gonna be doing any shows at all. It's gonna be shut down. You know, you're gonna be getting pulled up every time, getting searched. Um, don't be surprised you get hit up from the ATO. You know, any little thing, you know, you're gonna be surprised if you get put in the media. You get, you know, 60 minute articles on you. You're gonna get like, it's gonna be multiple attacks from different angles coming at you if you're really, you know, doing what you're saying, sort of thing. And like I said, it's not even with these guys, it's just with everyone. Um, I know a lot of the younger boys are going to be like, I don't give a fuck, <laughs> you know, <laughs> they're not there, but you know, I'm trying to, yeah, anyway, you need to live your own life, bro, gotta learn, shout out to the boys, shout out to everyone, like I said, for the 10th time, this was 1-4, press, MPU, Lokes, Caps, chase that, chase, chase that dream, keep doing what you're doing, but um, yeah, Try to do it a smart way, and you know, a way that where it's like longevity, where where you want to be, where it's gonna like long term, it's gonna put you where you want to be. Not thinking short term, and then in a year from now, or maybe six or eight months, you know, you're locked up or you got you got stabbed free time. You know, up to you, up to. You. Anyways, shout out to the boys. Let's go. Deli 1-4 27-7 1-4, fuck em all